Greetings and welcome to Give Us Lectures. So today I'm going to be showing you how to memorize the sine, cosine and tangent of spatial trigonometric angles easily. I'm very sure you all are used to this table. We know that the sine, cosine and tangent of spatial trigonometric angles 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees are these values we have in this table. For reminder purposes, the special trigonometric angles are 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. And the fundamental trigonometric ratios are the sine, cos, and tangent. All other trigonometric ratios are derived from the sine, cos, and tangent trigonometric ratios. So the sine, cos, and tangent are known as the fundamental trigonometric ratios. And these are the values for the sine, cos, and tangent of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So if you want to get sine 0, for example, you just say sine 0 is equal to the value you have here. Sine 30, for example, is half. Sine 45 is 1 over 2, just like that. So most of the time, students get into the examination hall and they are not able to retain these values. That's the reason why I brought out this mnemonic, to help you bring out these values without necessarily memorizing each and every one of the values. So you just have to note one or two of them, or even three. And from those theory, you can be able to deduce or bring out all the other values. So this method I'll be showing you is a mnemonic, and it's not a formal mathematical method. It is a mnemonic meant to help the students. All the students who will be writing concours without the use of calculators, all the students who are studying trigonometry in sciences, or even the art students that are studying mathematics and will eventually study trigonometry need this mnemonic because it can even help you to use a fractional value without necessarily going through your calculator and uh, memorizing some things. So you are going to observe a pattern. So you just observe a pattern for a while. Observe. I believe you have observed the pattern properly. I'm now going to show you how this pattern can be gotten. So in an effort to memorize this method, the very first thing you should take note of is the meaning of diagonal. Consider this matrix, let's say one, two, three, four. Let's call it a matrix. Then this is a diagonal and this is another diagonal. But in this video, we are not going to be treating such perfect diagonals. We are going to be looking at spatial diagonals. So let me give you a glimpse of what I mean by spatial diagonals. It is not a formal mathematical term. It's just a term that we adopt to better explain what we are trying to say here. So if you observe, at this point you have zero. At this point you also have zero. So the line linking this two values is not a perfect diagonal and so we call it a special diagonal also we have one year and we have one year but the line linking them is not a perfect diagonal so we call it a special diagonal also observe that at this point we have half we have half year two but the line linking them is not a perfect diagonal here we have with three and two also have with three and two here but the line linking them is not a perfect diagonal so this center region should be considered as a special colon 
because we have the same values that is 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 at the center colon. So we are going to note the value for sine 0. So you should be able to know what sine 0 is. Know that sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is half, sine 45 is 1 over root 2, and sine 60 is root 3 on 2. And also, because 0 is 1, so you should be able to note these five values. From there, you can be able to derive all the other values on the table with the trick I'm going to show you. So the very first thing to take note of is that at this point we have zero and at this point we also have zero. At this point we have one and at this point we also have one. Now for you to obtain this value, we take zero divided by one and it's going to give you this value zero. For you to obtain this value, you take one divided by zero and it's going to give you infinity. Observe that at this point you have half and at this point you also have half. At this other point you have root zero and two. And at this point, you also have root 3 on 2. And in the center column, you have 1 on root 2, which is common to the first and second rows. 1 divided by root 3, and it's going to give you 1 on root 3. But for you to obtain this value, you take 1 divided by 1, and it's going to give you 1. Why this other value is obtained by taking root 3 divided by 1, and it gives you this value, root 3. So that is the special diagonal mnemonic. Let us now try to draw the table using the mnemonic. So very first thing to take note of is that sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is half, sine 45 is 1 over 2, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, and cos 60 is 1. From there you can be able to get all the other values. So remember that you need to be able to reproduce the values for sine 0. So if I know that my sine 0 is 0, my sine 30 is 1 on 2, that is half. My sine 45 is 1 on root 2. My sine 60 is root 3 on 2. And my cos 0 is 1. Then I know that there is a special diagonal at this point, and so I repeat the quantity 0, that is... This is that special diagonal relating these two quantities. Also, the special diagonal relating this box to this other box, that is this box to this other box, helps me to put the value 1 at this point. Now, there's also a special diagonal that helps me to put half here and another special diagonal that permits me to write root 3 on 2 here. Also, the central column is a special column, and 1 over root 2 is common to both the first and the second rows. So if you take 0 divided by 1 at this point, you have 0. If you take 1 over root 3, you have 1 over root 3. If you take 1 over 1, you have 1. Then you take root 3 on 1, you obtain root 3. And at this level, you obtain infinity. So anytime you enter an examination hall, you can reproduce this table and use any value from the table to ease your calculations. So if you love the video and would like to receive more videos like this, then follow these instructions. If this is your phone and this is the video you are watching on YouTube, then below you have the Give First Lectures YouTube channel and beside you have a subscribe button. Consider turning on the subscribe button and also turning on the notification bell. When you turn on your notification bell, choose the option All. When you do this, when any mnemonic trick is uploaded, you are going to be the very first person to be notified. Thank you for watching Give Us Lectures, and please generate the link of this video and share it to your friends.